recording for some reason. Okay. Let's move on and see what's on this island. And we now have a teammate with us. By the way, someone had said there may be a way to actually make make it run at a better frame rate. I don't think so. Like, if you take a look, there's no graphical settings in this game, from what I can see. All I see is audio controls in game. What if I go to main menu? Are there any graphical settings for this on PS5 at all to speak of? Because some people are saying, I want, you know, can you do higher frame rate? I, I want to, but I don't think there's any settings in this. Right? <laughs> Why would there be no graphical settings? That's so weird. So many games these days have graph graphical settings. Majin Buu says, go to gift bag. View gift bags. What the hell is this? Beauty Salon, Song of Nature, Order and Magic, Sorcerer's Secrets, and the Four Relics of Rivalin. It says they're all installed. So all those are installed, apparently. <laughs> okay, I hope so. Alright, um, I guess we're just gonna continue. It doesn't look like there's any graphical settings, which sucks. Because it's not a PS5 game. Well, here's the thing. A lot of games recently, even as and PS4, because they realize there's a P regular base PS4 and a PS4 Pro, they'll have options for improved graphical performance that you could, would want to do on the Pro. Like Neo 2 had that. Neo 2 had the two, had graphical changes and everything. So it's kind of disappointing. I wanted to play this at higher than 30 frames per second. It looks like it's not possible. Well, it is what it is, I guess. All right, so we are exploring the island. Like cut. Well, I like cuts. But wouldn't eat a whole one. The cat's I couldn't eat are a whole one. And gray, but it stares at you with acute intensity. Okay. Alright, uh Jackalese, I believe you just tipped me. I want to verify that. Let's see here. I can actually I should be able to tell from here actually. Of course you're here. Jackalese, are you here on the stream? Yes, this is real. Jackalese just hit me $5.30. Thank you very much. And yes, he did use a code word, so I will use that from now on. Thank you, Jackalese, to know that it's really you. Thank you. <laughs> Good. Awesome. Thank you for the tip, Jackalese. All right. Uh, all right. Cat's eyes are clouded and gray. All right. What? How did I get... Hey, stop following me. Why is the cat talking? It says you aren't following it. It approached you. Ask the cat if it's feeling... Oh, wait! Because you could talk to cats! That's why! <laughs> I forgot. You have the ability to talk to animals. If I was someone else, maybe I couldn't talk to it, but I have the ability to talk to animals. Wonder who you had the pleasure of speaking to. Me? I know who I am. Uh. I think I do. Sometimes it feels like... No. I know who I am. Who are you? <laughs> Doesn't sound like he knows who he is. Uh, dwarf, noble. Explain you're just trying to survive. I'll say, I'm just trying to survive in this world. We all want to survive. Just sleep through one more day. But they won't let us. Won't. Won't stop. <laughs> Well, of course, now I'm starting to get tips from people who are unverified. So this person, alphas only, I'm sorry. I can't accept your tip. Your tip is unverified. And as you know, I can't accept unverified tips. Um, I have to refund this one. Please verify your PayPal account. That way I know it's real and I can actually enjoy games and not have to sit here and check every tip. I'd appreciate that. <laughs> Very frustrating. Okay. Um, Colt Leiter, cheers. I missed the break. Is everything working again? Things are working. Not foolproof yet, not 100%, but things are working again, so. All right, we all survived. We just sleep through one more day. The cat shakes its head, as if trying to wake up from a deep sleep. Hmm. I wonder where the he came from. The cat opens his mouth, as if to speak, but his eyes lose focus, and with a jerk, he turns away from you. Mm-hmm. 
I did just receive a $5 verified tip from Godzilla, who says, uh, let's see here. Please look forward to my movie with my homie King Kong. <laughs> oh yeah, your homie. I'm sure you guys are just, the whole movies you guys are like chilling, right? Sitting back, smoking weed, watching some TV, memes on the internet. That's the movie. It's Godzilla and King Kong chill, right? That's the movie. Okay, anyway, thank you for the tip, Godzilla. Also, Internal Miscreant tipped me a dollar thirty. Thank you, Internal Miscreant, for the dollar tip. Appreciate that. Okay. Up to eighty-six dollars in tips now. So the cat talks, but apparently doesn't really know its name. Or wait a minute. Is the cat following me? I think the cat's following me. It is. Okay. Who's this? Trice. Hey, is a lot nicer here than that stinking boat, huh? Guerzon's Gaming 24 cheers. So the game has been like 80% talk about tips. Uh, first hour, there was none of that, and then everything went wrong. And there's not much I can do about that. Technical difficulties suck. But thank you for the cheer. <clears throat> okay. I'm sure glad you went back to save the others. Saw one of them ringing out their tunic at the shore a few hours ago. Say hi for me. All right, there's like fish traps here. Who the hell is fishing? The cat's eyes are clouded and gray. I don't want to do that. What's going on? I don't want to do that. I wanted to pick up the shell with the cats in the way. <laughs> yeah, it won't let me because the cat's in the way. Ugh. Forget it. I don't want the shell anymore. <laughs> okay. Internal Miscreant just took me another dollar thirty, and says, Do I wish that I could talk to Jasper in real life? If I could tell him one thing, what would it be? Uh... I mean, it would be kind of cool, but what would a cat want to talk about? Cats probably have very different concerns than, than humans, you know? <laughs> you probably want to talk about when his next treat's coming and, you know, stuff like that. I don't know. That's kind of a weird question. Um. Well, now I'm being asked to confirm again. The thing is that... The thing is that even if you tried to, to verify your PayPal account right away, it might not work that quickly. Sadly, it just doesn't go that fast a lot of times. Yeah, see, I knew it. It still didn't. It still hasn't shown because PayPal can take a while to process your thing and show that you're verified or not. So, there you go. Um, Random Game Roulette cheers. I can't get a verified PayPal, but I want a tip. What should I do? Uh, nothing you can do right now. I only accept verified tips right now. What was that? It, like, faded. Nothing over there. Game auto save. Okay. I walked into these rocks, now I'm stuck. Apparently there's a ridiculous amount of people around the corner here. And it's an actual town, it looks like, right? Can't go this way? Oh, can I? Ladder. This is the actual fort. Looky, looky here, mates. A fresh face. We love fresh faces, don't we? Oh, yes, we do. Okay. Why don't you join us in a round of cards? Cards? Those hands on the house. I don't know about this. Oh my god, here we go. <laughs> Fat Man Sweetie Orvis, thanks for the cheer. We're not talking about this. You're wasting my time. Uh, where's on gaming cheers? Is the year's 2024 DSP finished confirming a code word and a tip and now moves on to the Divinity Tutorial. Alright. Anyway. No. No problem, Freshie. In that case, enjoy your stay. But I'll be needing to collect your internment fee first. Internment fee? What is this? I'm sure the Reds told you. No one gets along without paying the internment fee. So, let's make this easy. Empty your pockets. Spit the loot there internment fee from your corpse. No one mentioned having to pay a stay here. You're going to wait. You're going to walk away. He's not going to stop you. Or noble. He gained more from having you and your connections as allies. I don't know what to use here. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I 
I don't know if the noble's gonna work. Don't think your connections will get here in time to save you if you don't pay up now. Shit. Sure you have nothing of value. Go on then. Whatever pennies you've got ah. in your pocket ain't worth my breath. But don't you go telling Griff I was soft on you. Acts after Griff. Another inmate, but you wouldn't guess it. Runs this place like he's Dallas herself. Shouldn't be too hard to find him in the kitchen, but he doesn't take too kindly to your kind. Huh. So we fooled him. We fooled him, and now he didn't have to take anything from us. Okay. So everyone here apparently is a prisoner. Who is this? Uh, Brother Buyer. The priest's jaws might be sewn shut with fishing wire. So harshly do they clench at the sight of you. He speaks one clipped, precise syllable. Son. Son. That's it. Make your partner if you offer offended him in some way. Demand respect the word like he was earned. Say this. Beg your pardon if you offended him in some way. I'm not offended by you, beast. No matter how foul that name feels to my lips. He knows who you are. Just disappointed. How do you not know the price our people paid after your hasty revolution? Do you think your merry band could try to toss Justinia into the sea and the clouds would turn to rainbows? A storm of your making still rages, and whenever word of your deeds reaches her ears, lightning strikes. Hmm. When your flunkies scream for revolution, I know what they're really screaming for, beast. And I know it's dwarven blood being shed. So he hates you. <laughs> You've done your penance. The Isle of Mist would have driven an ordinary man to madness. It says that you did the right thing. Justinia was beyond reason. You stood up to her tyranny. Lash back. Religious sorts are all the same. Does he think prayer could have depose a, best, a depot? Sigh, the guilt weighs heavily on your shoulders. You acted rashly. It was not yet time for an uprising. Fine, let's do that. Duna forgives. Divinity forgives. I'm not so charitable. His eyes burn, but his words are ice. May the seven bless you, beast. So, interesting how different dwarves will react to you. He basically was very angry at you, feeling that your 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 rebellion was unwarranted and it made things worse for the dwarves, I guess, is basically what they're kind of trying to say here. I think that's what they're trying to say. Huh. If you take your touch of property that's not yours, but where are the consequences? All right, I'm not going to take or touch anything that's not mine. I don't want to get in trouble. Get arrested. Game just started. Come on. You can't move any faster than this. It's pretty slow. <laughs> Myra? The woman is scrabbling at her throat as though she can hardly breathe. Clap her on the back, I think she's alright. Don't touch me. You're too close. This collar, this place, it's squeezing the life from me. Uh. Until you understand how she feels. Do you seem fine. <clears throat> Don't you feel how tight this collar is? And there's nothing we can do. Nothing. Timble slice. Oh. Timbal Slice cheered. Nothing we can do, by the way. Nothing we can do. That's my saying. Timbal Slice cheered says, My goal to finish this by the end of 2021. Yes, it's as I said. My goal, I will finish this right before Christmas. All right? I will be finishing this right before Christmas. That's my goal. To finish it the day before. Her maybe Christmas again to her throat. She seems to try to make space between her neck and the collar. But there's no space to be made. Hmm. At least the collars are tighter on others. That's kind of weird. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing in this town, by the way. Oh. You, you just arrived, isn't that right? Are you... Are you quite alone? Ask why he wants to know. Say you are. Say you have a companion, but you're fine with going it alone. Of course you're alone. Someone of your breeding has no business making friends in the wrong places. What the hell? Uh. Why do you want to know? It's just... I have a proposition, something, something very worth knowing, but it's hardly a group affair. I only need one. Go on, you're here alone. Tell them you're not interested in any matter your friends can't hear. Oh, noble. 
But after the magisters take you all, your nobility will have been for nothing. <laughs> good luck with your friends, though. Enjoy your last days in good company, won't you? What's weird about this is... I changed characters, and I don't know how I did that. I did it by accident. <laughs> oh, Internal Miscreant took me another dollar thirty. Says the Miz surprised you when he first debuted. Back, do you think his gimmick would have lasted this long? I, when the Miz first debuted, I thought it was awful. I had actually known him from MTV, The Real World, um, and I thought that he was a very bad gimmick, a very bad idea. Quite frankly, I didn't think that it was very good at all. And I think that he's probably turned him, turned everyone's opinion around. One of the hardest working dudes in WWE. For the fact that he didn't have the, the the training everyone else did, he you know he basically had to really bu bust his ass to get where he did. So, I do respect the Miz for what he what he's done for sure, what he's pulled off. All right, so that was nothing. Lazlor. The dwarf slaps his knees and chest until a buoyant rhythm develops and begins to, well, not sing exactly, but chant. They stole me boots and burned me hat. <laughs> oh my god. To the sea will come asking for me. They locked me up with a pig and a rat. But beast to the sea will come asking for me. Okay then. <laughs> oh, not bad for being off the top of me head. He bows to an almost comical depth, then rises and laughs. Welcome to the joy, my famed friend. Laugh along with him. What a song. He almost had you dancing. Skull, sea dogs have barked out better tunes than that. Press your forefinger to your lips. The less attention he draws to you, the better. Oh, well, I beg your pardon and tip me stroll on that. But you can see I was meaning no harm. It's just nice to see a face that brings me real joy in the joy. Uh -huh. Raise your eyebrows. How do you know, how do you know so many shanties featuring you? You can thank me sister for it. We're a band, we were. The Whistling Warriors. At least we were till I got shipped off. With serenade music lovers and tolerators from the kingdom and beyond. His voice drops to an excited whisper. I heard you once rode a serpent to a sea city, heeding a mermaid choir's melody. And that they begged for the beast of their dreams to make love to them all twice over. Uh... Tell me for true. Confirm his story. You're more than beast, but a dwarf of noble blood and scrupulous stock. They say it's just a tall say it's just a tall tale. There you go. Nah. Uh yeah. Oh, so you look back on those fanciful days all fondly. Wouldn't have thought it, but there you be. Huh? One royal it skipped, tune it like up. ignored the dialogue that I picked. It didn't seem to fit that. Oh, Mac the smiles, bastard born, the man had life enraged him. A gnashing vomit, he became so queen top then to cage him. A pitiful sight is inadequate fight. Oh the my god. Why'd I do this? Marcus Miles, bastard born, the royal knights upstaged him. The royal guard, they'd sing this while wandering the hinterland, looking for rebels in the shadows. Well, some time ago, of course, back when you were banished to the Isle of Mists. He shakes his head, then looks to you with inquiring eyes, waiting for a reaction. Uh, chuckle in spite of yourself. Look to the ground, Marcus Miles, you've been called for that for some time. You haven't been called that for some time. I guess that's your real name. Say that. Come on now. Just a song, yeah? No dwarf worth their own beard believes it's true. But you know how it goes. You sing a song and pretty soon it's on people's lips. You're spreading like a rash on a lizard's tusk scales. <laughs> okay. Oh, let's see here. So you make a fine bard, smile and take your leave. Yeah, let's just smile and take the leave. I don't want to hear any more fucking bard songs. Jesus. Seems like there's a, a, a ridiculous amount of dialogue in the game, but I'm not sure if any of it leads to anything important. Goodness, but this place has made you cranky. Fuck up, old chap. There's plenty of singletons about. Leave me be, Sam. Sam? Is this the guy who we're supposed I to meet? I mean that if please, excuse us. Sam. You're talking to me, not him, Sam. Oh, for the love of Lucian, Balladeer. You're acting like a madman. Hmm. Say it again. What you said about my wife. Go on. What? Excuse yourself for something that the situation is about to escalate. Ask if you might help with their settled their agreement. This looks like it's about to get interesting. Go on, Sam. Yeah. Well, it's the truth, and you know it. 
She's better off. So what if it was messy? I'd rather puke myself to death a thousand times than let the Reds get to me. <laughs> if she were my wife, I'd be happy for her. A flat smile twitches across Balladier's lips. Uh-oh. What are you gonna do, punch him? She never did like you. Duh. Something's gonna happen here. I knew I called it! Oh, he knocked him the fuck out. I'll be with you soon, love. So she died, and the fucking dude said, Oh, you should better off. What the fuck? He said she's better off dead. That's kind of fucked up, especially if the guy's wife just died, to tell him, Oh, your wife's better off dead than with you? Wouldn't like, what the fuck was he thinking? Gritty. Right? Why on earth would he have said that to him? I mean, <laughs> I mean, very, very much makes sense that he just got killed like that. Jeez. Okay, hold on a second. I'll be with you soon, love. Okay. All right, well, the good news is I received a tip, and this tip actually is going to push us to the tips goal, all right? But this person apparently didn't know that I had set up a new a new tips page, so they did it through, like, directly. So I don't want to say their real their, their, their name here. Um, but let me just put it this way. I received an anonymous $20 tip, and that actually pushes us past the tips goal, guys. So we've done it. We've done it. So you guys have a very short period of time to ch choose a vest for me to wear today for the next 20, 25 minutes as the stream still goes, okay? So here we go. Vest poll is in effect right now. Thank you guys for the support. Yeah, because I was looking. I looked. I was like, that looks like there's there's more money in my PayPal than there was. And I looked and there was a tip there that didn't go through the new, the new tips link. And I was like, oh, <laughs> okay, that makes sense. So, that guy was not the guy we needed to find. What about this one? What the hell? Huh? I didn't steal anything. I wanted to talk to this guy. Are you fucking serious? I went to talk to this guy. Dude, it happened again! I don't want to steal. I'm trying to talk to the fucking person. And the game's having me steal shit around me. Yo, this sucks. This is going to be a major problem. This is going to be a major problem. Everyone's attitude towards me is going to be diminished. Because everyone's going to be pissed. And I'm not meaning to steal. Alright, so people voted for the Platinum Vest. The Platinum wasn't even supposed to be eligible, but at this point I don't even really care. Today... Today has been such a whirlwind mess. With everything going on, I don't even care that this wasn't supposed to be the vest to wear. Seriously. <laughs> okay. Uh, Randall loves TSM cheered and says, I'm a new viewer who's a Divinity fan. What on earth is a vest goal? Uh, Randall, you've been here before. I remember your name. So I don't know what you're talking about. You are not a new viewer. You've been here before. Anyway. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway see here I received a $20 tip from nine tailed strategist this is an another tip on top of the one that I was telling you guys about um he said Phil sorry for the difficulties you had today enjoying the game so far I hope this helps thank you very much to nine tailed strategist for that tip I appreciate that and uh, that means we have exceeded our tips goal now, which is very nice of you guys. Thank you. Okay. So this this whole stealing thing is going to be a big problem, I feel. Like, I'm inadvertently grabbing items I don't want. I'm trying to talk to someone, and they move. And then the game auto-selects the thing that's next closest to them, which is stealing. And then I steal, and now everyone hates me. I didn't mean to do that at all. I just want to talk to this person, see? The lizard's brow knits together, then apart. And back again. He seems to be swimming deep in his thoughts and doesn't look up as you approach. Hmm. So, tap on the shoulder, cough, and ask the ground really is interesting, all that. Seems by destroying the spirit, you stop on his foot. Let's cough. Hmm? The ground. I don't know what you. I'm just trying to work it out. What happened? Rezik. Why? 
What's on his mind? My mind? What else, my friend? I'm wondering why all of this. Source, the Void Woken, the Divine. Why? What do you mean? We've used Source for thousands of years. We have used it to heal, to grow. How can it be that it suddenly summons these, these horrors from the Void? Hmm. And when will Alexander ascend to divinity? We cannot continue like this. So it sounds to me like this thing where they're using this Source magic and, and monsters show up is a relatively new thing. It's not something that's been happening all along at all. And they're all confused as to why this has just started Watch happening. Yourself. Huh. So this is a delivery. Joy. Surely you have one. What a crumbling disaster. The camp kitchen? Scrab. Stingtail? Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I'm very tired. Abominably tired. Beg your pardon. Abominably tired. Take your leave. Uh, nothing there. I don't know where, who I'm supposed to talk to for the story. They didn't, they didn't mention it. Well, Red Prince had mentioned that there's a contact of his in town, but I don't know who it is. Mona? No, I don't think so, I don't know. Wait a minute, is she stinky? What is the smoke coming out of her body? What the hell, is she on fire? What's going on here? Leave me. <coughs> Go. Oh God, is she sick? Ask if she needs help. Do what she has. She looks contagious. You'll fetch a doctor. She doesn't look well at all. No. <coughs> Don't you dare. I want... I want to be done. What the I hell? I won't let the Reds... <coughs> let them take me. Well, I just got insulted by this fucking guy, so I don't know if he's banned yet or not. He had a couple, a couple legit uh, cheers earlier. Now he has to fucking insult me on the stream, so I guess you can fuck off. All right. Well, this person doesn't want me. I'm diseased! Oh, shit. Hold on. I don't want to be diseased. Doesn't this cure disease? Yes. Cure the disease. Okay. <laughs> I'm not catching that shit. No. I'm not catching that shit. Fuck that. Okay. Um, I don't know where to. Still don't know where to go. <clears throat> What's this? Oh, Source Hound Hicka. Collar on. Source. Gone. Go. Do? <laughs> I don't get about I don't get what that was. There's some guards just standing there. Yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. There's no there's no mission indicator. So it's not telling me where to go or who to talk to. Where's the oil? In the town. No Bora. Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts, and scraps of metal, the woman is manipulating a glove-like contraption fitted with five long metal skewers. She doesn't look up as you approach. And what you after? Ask her what she's making so she seems handy. Can 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 she sell something useful? Here, uh, let's say this: the dwarven line. Oh, I looking to buy. You're always willing to cut a deal to terms of your liking. Let's just talk, say what she's working on. This, this belongs to Dallas. Oh, the hammer, as you might have heard her, Monica. <laughs> I'm just having a tinker with it to try to figure it out. Okay. You sure you're not looking to buy anything? Yeah, you know, I prefer banter when it's with paying customers. Hmm. That's because you got your hands on one of the contraptions. They seem pretty dangerous. Found it in the scrap heap not so long ago. We used to know each other back in the day, you know. Dallas and I. Never knew her to be much of a wrench head back in the day, but once she joined the order, she started turning out all manner of oddities. Uh, did Dallas invent these collars? She nods once. Yes, she did. You looking to buy something, or do you just want to waste my time with a whole lot of questions? You said she knows more than letting on. So your collars start after you loosen it. Let's say that. For you. <laughs> Hell no. Uh, she does know how to manipulate them, though. That's for me to know, and you to get out of my face. Buy or shovel. Ah, she won't say anything further. That's interesting. All manner of things. Have a look. Well, I don't care about this. I want to get the collar off. I don't care about these items. 
I have no money anyway. Right? 39, that's not enough. Combine. So here's a workbench. I guess once you buy certain components, you can combine them into other things. And that's the workbench to do it. But I don't have any money, so I'm not going to work with to do that. <clears throat> um, Journal. So, the Blacksmith Removal Service. The Path of Common Knowledge. Follow your own path. There's your companion. And you're the beast. Uh, hmm. I don't know what I would do here, right? This fucking idiot. People are still following detractor memes. And shit. This has got to be the same guy. This has to be the same fucking guy here at this point. Get him out of here. All right. Oh, uh, let's see here. This one's marked as my quest, but I can't. She won't. She won't remove the collar, right? The woman looks up as you approach. Why? What do you need? This is about Dallas. you curious. Yeah, funny name for a gal like that. When I knew her, the feather would have been a likelier name. So do you remember? What do you remember? She was a sweet soul, quiet, loved her family. Always seemed strong. People do change. Blah blah blah. Don't they? Did that Val's in college? Yes. No wonder what Alexander sees in her. Question is, what she sees in him. So, Alexander. Okay. It seems to me like something to do with Alexander then. Okay. Um. The Path of Common Knowledge. How do I set these as your quest? I don't know how to set a quest in this game. On track quest. You can't. You can't yeah. track these. Okay. I find any bread really? Majin Buu says if you take the collar off, all the guards are going to want to fight you. Is consider it a high risk area? Okay. Cud chewer? Wow. Call him a cow. Where are they going to fight? Just like all your kind. Disgusting like theft. Disgusting like threats. They're gonna right. fight. Were you quick this way? Just hand over the Oh my god. Stubborn. Oh look who it is! Hey, I know you. She survived. Oh shit. <laughs> Losa, the dark-eyed jokes to you met aboard the ship, waves enthusiastically and dips into a mock elegant curtsy. Back then, I was <coughs> Madame Josephine Gribbles de Pew. <laughs> and you were the beast, right? Glad to see you made it. Nothing like a nice tentacle slap across the moor to set the tone for the week, eh? How'd you escape? You're not sure you fell into the water and were nearly lost. You tried to make a run for the boat, but you didn't make it. The rest is blurry. I saw you fall. <clears throat> we all did. Thought you were done for. When we get out of this place, I owe you a pint. So you managed to swim to safety, is that it? What about when you were in the water? Didn't hear anything unusual, did you? Hmm. So there's a strange voice in why you survive. Avoid answering after she hears something unusual. Let's say that. No. I mean... Not more unusual than usual. It's just, I thought maybe you... Losa's voice catches in her throat. The joy drains from her face. Her eyes lose focus, and her whole body goes rigid. Okay. She is stock still, waxy skinned, her eyes dark. Grayish black veins run from her eyes down her cheek. Here we go again, she's getting possessed again. Call her after she's alright, approach her and shake her shoulder. Her head snaps to you mechanically, and her eyes lock with yours. Dark pupils dilated into great black voids. Light suddenly flashes back into her face. The gray veins drain to pinkish flesh, and her whole body relaxes. <laughs> okay, I don't know why we couldn't see this, though. Anyway, what were we talking about? Why is she acting so strangely until you were discussing the shipwreck? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. It was a shipwreck, all right. Not much more to say about it, I guess. Papa Joris used to tell me, Losa, 
he'd say. No, sir. You ever find yourself in a sinking ship, follow the rats. They'll find you a way out. <laughs> follow the rats. Applies to a lot of situations, actually. Vermin tend to know what's what. Did she explain what she was doing just a moment ago? Oh, it's nothing, really. It's just... I'm just a bit... Well, a bit... Hospitable. So you're gonna have to elaborate. Waggle a rakish eyebrow and ask her she's implying you should take yourself, make yourself at home. Just elaborate. Put it like this. Uh -huh. You've never been a host, I bet. That's because you're an infested clump of leaves on the side of the road. That ain't bad, though. I'd give just about anything to be like you. But I'm a, a roadside inn. Roadside inn for the door, spirits. Flowers out uh -huh. front. Friendly lady at the door beckoning you in for half price. Like a god's damn gold star inn for the disembodied. So who or what was, was she hosting a few minutes ago? Now isn't that just uh -huh. the question of the hour? I can't be sure just yet. I'll be surprised if it's a demon. Definitely not a sprite either. Maybe a spectre, but I wouldn't bet money on it. Hmm. So how are you enjoying the joy? So the magic just hold me in something about being a danger. So you heard the accommodation was exceptional. I had to see for yourself. It'll be all the wrong durable good someone to get the lay of the land with. Uh, I will say this. So true. Uh. And you can stay as long as your heart desires, free of charge. So, you want to check this place out together? Strength and numbers and all that. Well, does that mean that we'll have three people in the party? Yeah. It does, right? Before we head out, I've got more than a few tricks up my sleeve. So you'll have to pick which one I'll pull out if, ah. <laughs> when, push comes to shove. Obviously, she's supposed to be, if she's a, a clairvoyant with with demons and ghosts and shit in her, she has to be a magic user. Lately, I've been into <clears throat> the enchanting arts, but I can shoot, slash, summon, steal, whatever your little black heart desires. So, what'll it be? Yeah, we'll do the enchanter. Sounds fine. So, we're good to go? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah? Well, that was easier than I thought. And I'll do my best to stay myself. Lead the way. All right, we got a new party member. Improvised staff recipe obtained. I mean, it's gonna be interesting when she's getting possessed and demons are coming out of her and shit, right? <laughs> it's gonna be pretty weird. <clears throat> All right, I guess we'll see what happens. Um. Well, Jorda had cheered and said detractors don't exist anymore. These are sarcastic viewers in chat. Uh, they're not detractors at all. No. Oh, not. Haters sit on the fucking restreams, you know, jerking each other off, making the lamest fucking jokes, and basically just circle jerking themselves constantly. I don't believe that's anybody here on the stream right now. Who is this, Rezik? We find source so dangerous. I fear it will be quite some time before we find any answers at all, my friend. Though, it doesn't hurt to ponder. So do you have any goods for sale or leave him be? He's just a vendor. Okay. Kill <laughs> this guy walks. Laszlo, we already talked to Laszlo. So I just went through the whole town. I did recruit a new party member, which is good. But I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know what, what I'm supposed to do here. I didn't seem to find anyone who gave me a quest or anything, right? Butter? Your name is literally Butter? Heading into the kitchen? Don't try anything funny around Griff. I'm watching you. <laughs> Butter. Do we have anything we need to know about Griff? Well, he runs this place and everyone in it, including you. Better to make yourself useful to him if you're stuck here anyway. Huh. That's what I did. Careful. Don't want to catch Griff in a bad mood. Damn, oh, they're the ones we're getting into the fight. Ugh, where the hell is this? Gr I think I get to talk to this Griff character, but I don't know where the hell he is. Gavin, Walt, where the hell's Griff? There's no quest marker to tell where to go, so it's pretty frustrating in that regard. Like, they should have some kind of a fucking waypoint to know, in general, who you're trying to talk to or what's important, and there's nothing. Zero. So I can keep wandering around in circles and never find the right person. 
Faro, Jeff. I didn't talk to them yet. Move aside, dwarf. Move aside. I need to find my little girl. I need to find my baby. Hmm. Where'd you last see your daughter? She was. She was here. I only turned away for a moment. I'm sick with worry. Completely sick. And no one in this damn camp will lift a finger to help me find her. Have a closer look at the doll. Yes, of course. Here, Emma's doll. You should take Irma's her doll. When you find her, give her the doll and tell her, Mummy says this is for her little chicken, and it's time to come home. That's what I call her, my little chicken. Okay, why the hell would you call a girl a chicken? She soaks up <laughs> a steady stream of tears with her shirt sleeve. She ought to come with you then. She ought to follow you back to me. All right, we'll do your best. You are an angel. Truly, you are. Um, mommy's right here. Jeff? The fella can't hear himself think with all this racket. Day and night, she hollers after that child. You hear that, Farah? You got to cut that out. What's happened to you? Okay. If you don't like it, why don't you help her? Do the two of you have history? Being stuck here is bad enough without the din on top of it. Let's see, why do you have history? Known her all my life. A little girl, Irma, too. Farah was a straight shooting woman in those days, but now she's madder and a cuckoo into ISIS. Oh, uh, let me guess. Her her daughter's dead. Yet she still thinks her daughter's alive and continuously thinks that she's lost in the in the in the town. I bet that's what's going on. What else do you call hollering after a ghost? Yep. That child of hers she's shouting after has been dead and buried a month over, killed by a void woken back in our home village. Damn. Never even stepped foot in Fort Joy. And there ain't no amount of hollering that'll bring her back. Well, that's sad. So there's nothing we can do in regard to that? Ah, you're back. Please, did you find Irma? She still hasn't returned. Where could she be, my dear girl? You need to tell her the truth. You've been talking to that snake, Jeff, haven't you? Nah. I don't know where he gets these obscene lies. It's sick, totally sick, to torture a mother so. You stay away from that man. Do you hear me? Irma isn't. What Jess says is a lie. You hear me? Sounds to me like she's in massive denial, right? Massive denial. But I wonder, considering you have someone who's a clairvoyant, maybe the ghost... Oh! A flag just appeared. Oh, no, that's the stupid blacksmith, isn't it? A flag just appeared. Oh, something's going on over here. <laughs> okay. Stay back, sorcerer. And stay silent. Ah. God woke and speaks. Dallas the Hammer is right here. Apparently the person who made the collars. We know you've been helping sorcerers escape, Atusa. We have proof. Huh? I'd sooner cut my tongue out than lie to you, Alexander. I know nothing of any escapees. Atusa? Magister Atusa. If you can tell the God woken no more, your tongue is of no use. Cut it out. This can't be serious, Alexander. Come. Damn, sounds like they're turning on her. You should know by now to obey your superior, Magister. Whatever she may ask. Make yourself small, rather not get noticed. Step forward saying this injustice is best, base cruelty at worst. Shout that whether she's telling the truth or lies, you won't find out by mutilating her. Think to yourself, this Alexander seems the type to roll over for a compliment. It'll be worth remembering. Call to the shaking Magister. Telling her to hurry this up, you're hungry. Would you noble? Atusa pinches the tip of her tongue with two fingers and brings her dagger to its root. Her eyes squeeze shut. Drops of blood form against the dagger's edge and quickly fall to the ground. She groans. So she cut out her tongue? Stop! My father, may his soul rest in peace, would be disappointed in you, Atusa. To think she would lie to his only son, your bishop, and your friend these many years. Hmm. The fate of our realm hangs in the balance. If you will not help us save it, then you will help the Void destroy it. Dallas? Yes, Your Holiness. I believe we're done here. So... What the hell? What a waste. They killed her. Come, we'll be needed elsewhere. Yo, they liquefied her ass. 
When your party remembers of exclamation marks above their heads, highlight them and press X. They want to talk? Okay. Damn. Okay. The lizard Magister, or what's left of her, lies in a puddle of gore. Jesus. That was fucking brutal. The grunt got to see whose boss the lizard got in the way. Savages as all these people are. One less Magister for me to kill. She was a lizard, yet a Magister. No matter her reasons, her penalty was fair. Reckon they know what they're doing, right? That's it. That's it. Freaking weird. The black cat's still with us, too. I just realized. Oh, my God. We can loot all this shit? Whoa. A resurrection scroll? And her leg. Ew. We took the leg. Ugh. So it's saying you can put new stuff into your hot bar if you want. Okay. I found a magic scroll. I can cast spells I haven't yet learned. We, I think we all leveled up, but I have no idea how to level your characters up. Do you do it from here? Ah. The overview panel lets you set your current level, or shows your current level, how much experience you need to level up any statuses you have. Press L1 or R1 to access the other tabs. Okay. The attributes panel shows primary stats on the left and secondary stats on the right. The primary stats have a direct influence on your secondary stats. Abilities, of course, is going to show what you can do. Okay. Talents, unique abilities for that character. Beast, here you go, here's your backstory. What about attributes? That's here. Assign a point. Oh, so because I level up, I can now assign points. I have two points to assign. Uh, let's do more finesse and more intelligence. Oh, shit. I didn't want to do that much. There you go. More finesse, more intelligence. Yes. Okay. So that's done there. Now, how do I switch characters again? Like this. Okay. So, she's a magic user. So she should have definitely intelligence. Constitution? More vitality. She's a magic user. She probably needs more vitality, right? I don't know. That number says, will I reload saves if a companion permanently dies? I have no idea. I don't know how it works. Memory slots required to learn skills. Wits. Critical chance initiative. I don't know. I don't know. Let's do let's do constitution. Okay. So he's a tank. So he should be strength yeah, strength and constitution. That's correct. That's exactly what he should get. Okay. It looks like there's also crafting and journal that's upgraded. Other more stuff for character too. I don't know. Let's save up. Shout out to Yui560 who did a hundred bit cheer. He says, Am I gonna do overtime? I cannot do overtime. Can't. Sorry that we lost a little bit of time today. We probably lost about half an hour of gameplay because of the nonsense. And there's nothing I can do about that, and I'm sorry, but hopefully by next time around when we play, which will be very shortly, by the way. Because today's Monday, and I'm gonna be playing this again as the major stream on Wednesday. Um we should be making up for the lost time. Like I'm gonna be playing this a lot in the next week. So I think we'll be all right. So, so far, I really don't have much to say. We played about roughly three hours today, roughly. And honestly, I don't really know how to feel about the game. Um, We've only done very basic combat in the intro against those bug creatures or whatever they were, and that's it. I mean, we have a party now that we're building, which is nice, but I don't know too much about it yet. Um, We really, really didn't do much. We didn't even really get out of this intro segment, so it's hard for me to formulate any kind of an opinion on the game when I really don't know what's going on with it. So, I would say thank you guys for watching and chilling. And thank you for putting up with the technical difficulties earlier. Because that was incredibly stupid um, that that happened. But, hopefully, uh, you know, moving forward, we'll get more advancement in what the game engine is. We'll get to see what it is and everything. Right now, it's, it's too very premature for me to make any kind of a judgment, I feel. We're not even past the first very intro portion, so... I'll reserve my judgment until we basically get into the meat of the game, which we're not yet, all right? 
But thank you guys very much. Obviously, thank you for rallying and supporting me at the end of the stream here with all the crap that we went through. Thank you guys for that. Until next time, which will be very shortly, okay? Great. Thank you.